I want to start by telling somebody that God is in control. It doesn't matter what is happening in economy, in the political atmosphere. In these days, in our community today, the only thing that I want to register in your mind is that God is in control. So it's not the government, it's not the community, it's not anybody that is a, your source. If God is your source, then he doesn't need a bailout. He's in control. I want to use the example of the children of Israel. You realize that the more they were oppressed in Egypt, the more they grew, the stronger they became. They were oppressed, they were being worked ruthlessly, but the Lord has a master plan of what he's going to do with them. He was waiting as he was building an army. He was building a people that will be stronger than the nations that they are going to meet along their journey. God is doing definite things in our life that may make it look like we don't know what he's doing. The only thing that we need to be warned of is not to agree with the devil. When we say oh, things are out of control, that means we are in agreement with the devil. We don't need to agree with the devil that things are spiraling out of control. We just have to definitely agree with the Lord that I don't know what you are doing, but I know that you, my God, you know what you are doing. In the book of Exodus chapter 13, if you read from 17 to 18, it says, And it came to pass, when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God led them not through the way of the land of the Philistines, Although that was near, for God said, Lest peradventure the people repent when they see war and they return to Egypt. But God let the people about through the way of the wilderness of the Red Sea. And the children of Israel went up harnessed out of the land of Egypt. There are many times that it looks like our journey is longer than we want it to be. God is in control. There are times when we think He should have taken us a shorter journey. I want to assure you God is in control. God has a better viewpoint. God has a higher purpose. The purpose of God is to make sure we go through it, even though what we want is to get through it. But he wants to make sure we go through it. That is why things doesn't always go the way we want it. But we have to relax and just say, God, my times are in your hands. I know you can bring me through this. You are the one in charge of everything. You know, fear says it is over. There's no way out. But faith says it, it, there's a way. God will make a way. So there's a difference between because our fear cannot achieve anything. But our faith can allow us to submit to the control of God and to allow him to see us through. The disciples, when they were on the sea and they were battling the storm, the Lord, the Bible said the Lord did not come unto the fourth hour of the night, probably because they didn't need him yet, probably because he had to make them come to a point where they will receive him. If he had come early, they might not think they needed him. So the things that is happening to us that looks like we don't know what God is doing, God may be waiting for the time when we need him. God may be waiting for time when we will be able to accept him. God may be waiting to do something that we will appreciate. But the lesson here is that God is in control of our life. Whichever direction is leading us, we need to trust him. And the, the one that will be able to work with God and allow the control to be in the hands of God is the one that has faith and is able to trust God. And then we will find ourselves in the better place than where we started. God is saying something to you. It becomes more of a reality than what you are thinking. Join Pastor Forlakera Lallier in the Czech Chapel of Grace family every Sunday morning for Sunday worship service on Facebook. And you can also fellowship with us at Czech Lecky Center, venue, Georgie Plaza opposite Blanco by Sky Mall, Lecky Equer Expressway, Shongatato Aja, Lagos. Time, 10 a.m. The Lord will meet you at the point of your need. Jesus is Lord.